Hi, it's Dana. I'm just going to do a quick review on the new Sucky Stackhouse book. It's the 12th book and it's called Deadlocked, I think, by Sharon Harris. And um, I've done a review on books 1 to 11. So if you want to see that first, go to that link. Um, but the 12th book, I think the 13th is going to be the last. And that's out in 2013 sometime, uh, which worked out pretty well. But, um, First thing I have to say about this book, just don't read it, don't bother. It's like I haven't, I have never really said this about a book because no matter how bad a book is, um, I suppose there's something in there for someone. But with this, it's just a waste of paper because there's nothing in there. It's like in my e reader, it was like 350 pages or something like that, and it was just the dullest book, most unexciting book ever. Um, I just can't understand what, what happened to Charlene Harris. Like this series, books one to nine, oh, when I was reading them, it was like one of my favourite series ever and I was in love with the whole Sucky Stackhouse world and all the characters and Eric was one of my favourite male leads and I just loved it. And then 10 and 11 kind of went down a hill and 12 is even worse than them. Um, it was just like... If you cut out the word vampire in the series and fairy, it just would have been a normal kind of fiction. You know, like a chiclet book, uh, where she was like just chatting to her friends, her friend having a baby, going shopping. Like Charlene Harris always used to write about the mundane things, but now it's just getting ridiculous and boring. And she was talking to these minor characters for ages about just stupid things. And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't really care about this. What happened to the excitement and the tension in the series? There's not much supernatural things going on. Um, there wasn't one sex scene in the book which is quite different for a Charlene Harris book compared to the first few which were verging on pornographic uh, and maybe the odd sex scene here and there would have made it a bit more uh, readable but um, it was just really dull and <laughs> I read a few reviews on it and they were pretty bad so I'm not sure whether I'm going to even read the next one since it's the last one I suppose I should really um, uh, but yeah, my god, isn't it awful how much the series has fallen, like, it should have just stopped when it was at the, the height of its greatness, but, uh, even the True Blood series has kind of gone downhill, but anyway, will I do a spoiler review? I'll do a little spoiler review, but, um, yeah, I just don't recommend it, and if you've read it out, if someone's read it out there, let me know, like, do you agree, am I just on my own in this? Like, there was barely a storyline in it. Um, yeah, okay, that's my spoiler free review. It wasn't great. Now I'm just going to do a spoiler review. And if you haven't read the book <laughs> and you plan on reading it, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so what happens to Eric or Suki and Eric as a couple? They're just so boring now. And like their breakup has been dragging out for two books. Like, I can't believe I even thought that, oh, will they ever just break up? Because I used to be in love with these two characters and I could not wait for them to get together. And now I don't even care if they break up. I actually want them to break up to stop dragging it out. And uh, it's just ridiculous that Eric wanted um, Sookie to use the clever door to wish that he wouldn't go off afraid of. I mean, if he didn't want to go off afraid of, just don't go off afraid of. It didn't really make sense. And... Oh, I the whole time reading the book I just wanted something exciting to happen so I was like yeah I'd love she had an affair or something like that like I was even hoping for affairs um I do still think she'll end up with Sam I've said this in the last review uh I kind of wish she would just to stop all her complaining about vampires um I was quite shocked when he died there in the end and then in the space of like about five sentences he was alive again because of the wish thing um yeah, but nothing really happened with the two of them. I kept waiting for it to happen, but nothing did. Maybe in the next book. Uh, still hate Bill. Um, the fairy thing, like I thought in the end of the ninth book, Charlene Harris closed all the portals because she wanted to just stop the whole fairy element of the series, and that was her way of doing it. Grand. Now the portal was just opened again, and now it's closed again. Like, come on, Charlene, just make up your mind. Like, there wasn't much going on. The fairies had a little bit of a 
thing going on. Oh yeah, stupid murder mystery. It was so boring. Like there was a whole chapter just dedicated to the police just asking questions which was not interesting at all. Yeah, what else is there to say really? It's just, it's just boring. Um, I couldn't wait for it to end. But actually falling asleep reading it. Never once in my life have I fallen asleep reading a book when I was with this. Um, yeah, but that's that anyway. It's a real pity because I mean this series was amazing. And now it's just not great. So that's my review on that at the moment. Um, I'm reading the Arcadia Bell series. I'm on the first book and it's actually quite good. Um, and I have a few other series to um, get through. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching my review today. And uh, don't forget to check out my others.